Good afternoon and welcome. Thank you for being here. I'm Scott Little, Vice President and Director of Athletics at Bellhaven. And I want to welcome each of you to our campus this afternoon. Thanks to all in attendance today, uh, including representatives of our media, uh, Board of Trustee members, Bellhaven alums, faculty, staff, friends, and, and really most especially our football team members uh, who are able to uh, be here who don't have class right now. Uh, you're the guys that we think about uh, when we make these kinds of decisions. Bellhaven Athletics exists for two purposes. Number one, to lead our student athletes to compete for championships. And number two, to lead our student athletes to mature as men and women created in the image of God, academically, spiritually, and relationally. Following a national search involving over 150 candidates, the man I want to introduce to you today is no stranger on the landscape of college football. His innovative systems have revolutionized the sport and given birth to creative thinking and wildly successful offensive production at programs nationwide. So much of what we enjoy on Saturdays each fall, or thanks to ESPN Thursdays and sometimes Tuesday nights, um, so much of that from coaches such as Art Bryles, Mike Leach, Dana Holgerson, Cliff Kingsbury, and so many more can trace its origin back to his coaching genius. He comes to Bellhaven from SMU where he most recently served with head coach June Jones as assistant coach and passing game coordinator. Prior to SMU, he has served as head football coach at McMurray University in Texas, New Mexico State University, Southeast Louisiana University, the University of Kentucky, Valdosta State University, and it all started at Iowa, Iowa Wesleyan College. He and his wife, June, joined the Blazer family for an exciting new chapter in Bellhaven Athletics, building on the successes of the past with a commitment to the championships of the future. He loves the Lord and the mission of this university. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Bellhaven University's new head football coach, Hal Money. Ticket out, everybody. <laughs> the, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's great to be in Jackson. I have some dear friends here. Uh, I'd like to recognize William Griffin. Where's William? At? There he is. And uh, he's. Uh, let's give him a round of applause. For <laughs> About uh, 10 or 13, 14 years ago, he and he and. Dennis Rowland, one of your former coaches, and uh, the late, great Dennis Rowland, who was a dear friend of mine, uh, introduced me to Bellhaven for the first time. And so one of the reasons I'm here is because of that introduction and because of my great friendship with uh, Coach Rowland. Also, Kennedy Griffin uh, is back there, too, and he's also William's son. Uh, he played at Millsaps, trying to hold that against him, but I love the, I love their family, and, and we, we became dear friends when when, we, when Dennis was here, and, and, and I just I got to brag on him because you're not going to find a bigger football fan uh, than than William and uh, and his group. And then uh, I also have there, there's three people here with me uh, that work with, uh, I have a, a little corporation on the side that kind of has grown through the years, and Chrissy Cobb is, runs it, she's our director of operations, and Brooke Reed is our marketing person, and Chris Wallercheck is our technical officer, and if, if y'all want to find any helmet reps, be sure you see them, <laughs> our books, or any of that sort of thing. But, um, you know, th this is going to be a great challenge, but I, I really cannot tell you how much I appreciate Dr. Roger Parrott and, and Scott Little because they are two gentlemen that, that really knew what they wanted out of the football coach. And I don't think I've ever been in a uh, interview process or a situation where you had to talk to people about a job and felt as at ease as I did with those two. And Dr. Parrott, I, I've never... Uh, I don't think I've ever met a college president with as much spirit and enthusiasm for his job as you, and, and uh, I appreciate the, the honor of being the coach of Bill. Um, 
I've, I've been fortunate to be the head coach at a lot of places. I'd like this to be the last one. My wife, June, sends her apologies because, because of the, the timing of this. She, she has her own career and she also has some meetings and, and uh, she uh, couldn't make it today, but she'll be over here uh, looking around shortly. So I'll get her introduced to everybody when she comes. Um, the, the one thing I'd say uh, to all the, all the players that are here is that y'all got a great background. You had a, a really fine coaching staff before. I've, I've seen your film. Y'all are good players. We're going to build on what y'all did and what you have done in the past, and we're going to try and improve and, and win a conference championship this year. That's going to be our first goal. And we're going to do it by three things. We're, we're, going, to have, we're going to give an honest effort every day at everything we do, whether it's mentally, physically, or spiritually. Just get up every day and give an honest effort. The next thing is, is we're going to be loyal to one another. And that's mainly just a, 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 a small, petty trade-offs. And we'll talk about that a little more in the team meeting. And then the third thing is we're going to learn to communicate. And, and those, the, all the teams I've had in the past that were successful, they could do those three things. So that, our program is going to be built around those three things. And, uh, you know, our offense gets talked about a lot, uh, mainly because it's what I enjoy talking about. And, and since I'm the head coach, we pretty much have to talk about what I want to talk about. <laughs> so uh, the defensive guys that we'll have, though, will be great coaches. You defensive players never forget that I'm watching, and, and I, I will love you as much as I love the offensive guys. And, and don't think that I won't because I, I, I understand this much. Defense wins conference championships. Defense wins national championships. Offense sells a lot of tickets, creates a lot of enthusiasm, and really helps you in recruiting. And apparently gets billboards put up on the highways too. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a lot of reasons to play offense too. But um, anyway, I, I'm just happy to be here. Uh, I really, really enjoyed my time at SMU. June Jones is a dear friend of mine, and a lot of the, a lot of the media and a lot of the people that are fans of football thought that I went to SMU uh, to return to Division One because I'd been at McMurray for four years as the head coach and that sort of thing. That was never true. There was never any truth to that. I went to I would have gone to work for June Jones if he coached it at a small college someplace because in today's game, uh, as as Scott alluded to. There's a lot of people running air raid offense, and so we got to stay ahead of the game. Well, Jim Jones had the most prolific offense that was not air raid, it was the run and shoot. So I wanted to go there and study and learn, and, and he wanted me to come do that. He, he asked me to do it a couple of times, and I finally agreed to it. And we had a great time together. I wish I'd been a better assistant for him. He's a great head coach, and SMU's a great school, and I enjoyed being there the whole time. But I, I'm a I've been a head coach since 1985. That's a long time. Some of y'all weren't even alive when I was a, an assistant coach last. And uh, so the, the allure of, of being a head coach and being able to uh, run the program was really important to me. And, and, and I just felt like in talking to Dr. Parrott and Scott that, that Bellhaven just felt right. It's just the great, it seems like a great place. And, and uh, I, I look forward to winning uh, a lot of football games here and representing. Bellhaven in all, all the ways they would like to be represented. Uh, with that, Dr. Perry. I was so thrilled when uh, uh, God brought uh, Coach Mummy and Bellhaven together. It was kind of uh, hard to believe. You know, we've been fishing and uh, had our bait in the water looking for the right coach, and we had a lot of things interested, and all of a sudden you feel not just this tug on the line, you feel this huge wait on the line and uh, as I've used the illustration you don't reel that in you just wait and see if the whale wants to come and uh, Coach Mummy is of that caliber there are very few names of his stature in college football and for him to want to be at Bellhaven and for as we talked about our mission and our desires and what he wants to do and how it just fit together perfectly it was clearly uh, a gift from God to bring us together, and we feel that way and look forward to the future. And we've seen a lot about Air Raid, and we've seen a lot about Coach Mummy uh, and his uh, offense and uh, his success on the field. But as I've gotten to know him uh, over this last little bit, it's not what's on the field that has impressed me the most, although I've been impressed with that for years. It's what's 
behind the man and what he does with the team, his deep care for the players, his desire for them to be the best men that they can become, his, his commitment to teaching, his commitment to education, his commitment to helping students grow in godly ways, to see this underneath the surface. We see what's on the tip of the iceberg when we watch the game, but underneath the surface is this deep, deep quality of all the kinds of things we care about in a Bellhaven education. And so as this came together, it just could not have been more perfect. And so we're excited about it, obviously, for, um, for the tickets that'll sell and the football games we're going to win. But we're most excited about it for what it's going to do in the lives of these players and many more to come in, uh, in the years ahead. So this is a great day for Bellhaven. And I want the coach to come and take some questions from the media. I know he's going to meet with the team at 3. I know others of you probably have a whole bunch of questions. And you'd love to talk a little football, too. I know you'll have a chance to do that. And it's fascinating to hear him break down how the game works. But we want the media especially to have, be able to answer questions. And I know media, you want to do some one-on-one -on -one interviews, and we'll let you do those. So coach, come and take a few questions just from the media at this point, and just a few, and then after they've got a few questions in, we'll break and then let them do their one-on-one -on -one interview. So media, come to you all first. Okay. All right, we'd like to start. Coach, I'm Nathan Brandt, the Associated Brandt. I know you've coached all different levels of football and everything. How do you know the AI has been in the division and all that? How does the air raid change, or I mean, is it, is it any different, or do you find that it kind of works no matter what level you're playing at? No, um, it, it, you know, basically, uh, you're still just coaching 11 guys, and it doesn't really change that much. You, you have a different set of problems, I think, uh, and, and that's what head coaches have to do is solve problems. And, and uh, sometimes, it, um, you, you know, at, at, say the SEC, you have to worry about the corners and the, and the defensive ends. That's because that's the greatest athletes in college football. Is the ones who play at that level at that position. Uh, in, in small college, a lot of times you, you're worrying more about maybe a free safety, who's the guy who makes all the plays on, on the defense. So. You know, it kind of changes a little bit that way, but that gets pretty technical and most fans don't pay much attention to it, except, of course, when those defensive ends sack the quarterback. <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah. Coach, well, obviously, yeah, right. not in the last 87 point, uh, Any of your thoughts on the Jackson area? You've been in Dallas, you've been in um, mm -hmm. the Miller. What are your thoughts on this area? Well, I'm, I first kind of fell in love with this area when I was at, at uh, Kentucky and then southeast Louisiana because, they're, they're, you know, there's a lot of football players up and down I-55 and I-20, so we uh, we recruited down here quite a bit. And then when I got to know William Griffin and, and when Dennis Rowland was here before, I visited Jackson quite a bit. And, and uh, it's, it's you know, it's a beautiful town. Uh, it's a southern town. I love living in the south and, and uh, our, our, my wife and our kids are you know, I have great memories in the South. My son's the head coach at LaGrange College in Georgia. And, and uh, so, I, you know, I'm just really looking forward to taking it all in. And I'm going to try not to gain a bunch of weight because the food's always great. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah, Coach, you mentioned the Jackson area. Is there any chance that the Jackson area is going to be in Dallas this year? Yeah, I'm going to Television stations want to do one on one, so why don't we set you up for this direction? Thanks everybody for coming today. You're going to, have to enjoy getting to know Coach Mummy, and I hope you will. Welcome into Bellhaven. Glad you're here. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Scott Little, for your. Meeting.